Circuit Superstars is an isometric racer that is very similar to uh, Art of Rally in terms of like just uh, aesthetic. Art of Rally we played a while back. Uh, it is a, a low poly uh, a racer, a lot of pastel colors, uh, and the racing felt legit. It didn't feel too arcadey. Here we are here in uh, Circuit Superstars. Uh, it kind of brings that same kind of feel where it's like it's not necessarily arcadey. It's not like RC Pro Am or anything like that where you turn the car and the car goes in that direction. The car has uh, has bite, it has grip. It wants to go straight. So if you turn it a little bit to the left, a nudge it to the left, it's gonna co course correct itself. Uh, and that is it makes it makes it feel like it has weight, and I really appreciate that. Um, the game is challenging. Uh, actually, this is the second time I've owned a game. I owned it once, and I didn't really like how how it was uh, where it was in development, so I ended up returning it. Um, and boy, has it come a long way. <laughs> Uh, we have Grand Prix, we have uh, Free Play Online, Weekly Time Trials, Garage, Replays, Settings, etc. Uh, the replays, let's go ahead and just dive into one of these here just so I can show you guys. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about this. It's a little bit easier to um, to talk while I'm... Uh... Oh god, these cars. <laughs> Alright, so you start off with uh, these little mini things. What I look like little smart cars. Uh, they are the most boring cars <laughs> in the collection. You have probably like uh, probably 10 cars or so. The game is early access. There's five. It's a five-person team. Uh, they did say that they were going to continue to bring in new content post-release. Uh, the game has technically not released yet, so since we're still in early access, we could expect more content, more tracks, more of all that. Um, so the game gets you in by uh, put, putting you into these little smart cars. Um, and this is where you kind of learn uh, just sort of the the nuances and some of the smaller bits of just how the game uh, controls and how the game handles the physics of things, uh, the camera and all that stuff. And so it's a good it's a good start. And the laps, uh, the actual um, uh, race times are pretty low as well. There's no qualification rounds in this in, when you race with these things when you first start. There's no uh, it's like five laps or something versus. 15 laps once you start getting into the more serious racing with the faster cars um, And so by then you know, you're, you're, you're kind of like okay You're, you're, you're ramped up and you kind of you, you got a pretty good grasp of the physics of the game and how game how the cars handle and all that stuff But then it also throws in the uh, the pit mechanic. So like actual racing uh, there's a pit right there. You go into the pit, you have a pit speed limit, a speed governor that kicks in, so it slows you down to, to a certain speed, and then you pull into your pit uh, location with your pit team, and they will get to work on your vehicle. You can leave at any time, so you can kind of develop your own pit strategy. Do you want to pit early and get some fresh tires, because there is tire wear, or maybe you took some damage or something, because there is damage, like vehicle damage. Nothing nothing completely detrimental. Like, I've smashed into a couple things, I've been smashed by cars, I've had low health, and the car pretty much handles the same uh, I will say that it would be nice if the you know in the future we could do some kind of tuning because the cars do handle so nicely that it would be just be nice if uh, there was some kind of tuning available so you can kind of tweak it a little bit more uh, so like this is where it's like it's kind it's it's not necessarily a sim arcade racer uh, it kind of leans a little more arcade because you don't have any control over the vehicles themselves so there you go that's good that's the uh, over the tuning of the vehicles themselves so that's the end of the race there um, um, you look at us out. It's nice that they show you that you have uh, up to 30 replays that you can save. So what I'll do for you guys today is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through 80s GP Legends. I've only done amateur on all of these because, uh, well, because uh, I just wanted to unlock stuff and see the courses. Because I've already done this before! <laughs> and I thought my shit would save, but it was a long time ago. Uh, it's the Amateur Pro-Am uh, Pro Master Superstar. Should we try Superstar so you guys can see how, how, how bad? Uh, I get my ass kicked. Let's see, 12 laps. So 12 laps, uh, we could choose our, our livery. Actually, before we go in there, let me go and show you this part. This part's pretty important. Uh, we may just do like one course, one race. Uh, it, it, that Maybe even if that, just so I can show you guys different cars. So go to edit cars. Uh, you can see that all the different vehicles that are available to you. Do, 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 do. Yes, even, yes, even the bonk. <laughs> and then when you select one, let's say you check like this charger here, this GTO, and then you go through and change your livery. Oh, there we go. A classic Challenger green. Um, like a 1970 flavor. See this number? You can change your number if you want. You can also change the color. So you could go and all, move this thing all over the place. Look at that. Look at that. Give it kind of a, there you go. Give it kind of a watermelon flavor here. Perfect. What are these purple? What does this purple go to? I don't even see purple anywhere. And the wheel, we can also adjust the wheel. We can make it look, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
you know, we won't even have the car to drive. <laughs> the next course is probably not even going to have this car. Uh, and you can also change your, that you look, and you get unlocks, by the way. So when you're doing these, these, um, uh, when you're going through the, do these Grand Prix and you win, uh, you get a bunch of unlocks and everything. So, you can change mine, get ready, so calm, chill, jump, joy, win. Yeah, okay, cool. And also there's like two bodies, so you have... Uh, there you go, and then you get little boobies, and there you go. Yeah, it's preset. Change the color presets. This is the one I think I had. And then you also change the color, so design. Da, ba, ba. And then you can change the color there if you'd like to. So if I say we want to go, uh, and then change this to black. And then I go over here, and I change this to white. And look at that, little, little some, some Mass Effect Normandy, <laughs> Normandy themed uh, jacket there. I guess it looks really silly though with those big white Mickey Mouse gloves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to Grand Prix. We're gonna go down to Superstar in the 80s GP Legends. We're gonna be starting off with uh, open wheel racing, the Mantra, Mantra F1 slash Indy slash E slash whatever. Take another sip of coffee. Here's your course. All right. Here we go. Superstar, Superstar opponents. This is just qualification. Oh man, these guys are gone. There is no e-brake BTW, which is totally fine. Like, you don't use an e-brake <laughs> with your open wheel vehicles or many of the other vehicles that they have uh, are in this style of racing. But I will tell you though, I do miss it. Like, I do miss not having an e-brake in any racing game that I play while well, they're gone. <laughs> they are freaking gone. Oh my god. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I do, I do miss it, but it's not necessary, you know, you can still whip the vehicle like this and get a pretty good little drifting if you need to, but you don't necessarily want to do that, especially in one of these kind of vehicles. Um, but the controls are very simple, like, we're talking NES controls. It's like left, right, accelerate, and brake. Um, they do have the, they do have analog. Uh, support so if you have an like, Xbox 360 controller or basically any Microsoft controller you can slowly squeeze the triggers and and get you know a little bit of brakes or a lot of brakes or gas or whatever um, and then there's also and, and also the thumbstick of course uh, and then there's just standard like seriously like I said NES style inputs where it's like the d-pad and then a and then X for your uh, brakes so um, yeah that's 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 it's pretty good flexible flexible and meant to be simple um, here we go. Lower left corner, you could see that my health, my fuel, my tires. Um, oh god, just right away. Man. Man. I should have pitted that guy. Okay, well. This might be a lost cause. Those guys are superstars. Haha, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> okay, we gotta, gotta break into these turns here. See if I can catch him. If I can at least catch him. Oh gosh. I don't have a lot of practice with this vehicle either. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, hey, I'll go demonstrate this. Uh, you can get in, and, and like I said, anytime you can leave, and then you can just drive through everybody else's pit. <laughs> and then once you leave the pit area, your car will automatically speed up. So you don't have to worry about getting, um, well, you don't have to worry about you know getting busted for speeding in the pit. And getting a penalty, a drive-through penalty or anything like that. Uh, let's go to free play. I'm gonna show you guys some other vehicles here. So preset, latest. Uh, let's see, whistle volley. Okay, well, here's where I could change. Let me see. Um, car class, any. We'll do. We're gonna. We're gonna actually slim this down a little bit. Prototype, huh? I wonder what's in that list. Let me see. And then let me see. And then we'll do racers. Yeah, 12 AI difficulty. Uh, we'll pump it up to pro pro am. Uh, qualifiers. No qualifiers. You already saw a qualifying lap. Uh, and laps, we'll do short, we'll do like three laps or so, and then we're gonna go preset, and then we'll change the course. Let me see, Interstate, Buffalo Hill, Tick Sport, not a whole lot here, um, but there's different there are different types. Here we go, so we'll go Rally Cross on Tilt Sport. Then we're gonna take, uh, oh, this is the prototypes, huh? Oh man, okay. These ones are, are fast. <laughs> As you can imagine, these ones are, are very fast, um, and they have a ton of grip. Ton, a ton of grip. Not quite, not quite F1. But damn. Yeah, here we go. So no qualifier, we're going straight into it. So that guy took a penalty by hitting that. 1.5 seconds, it slows you down automatically. 
Ooh, I have not done this course either. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, what a cool course. Yeah, I haven't seen this one. Oh, it's got a jump. The first jump I've seen. That's what we need because they do have some super trucks. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow, it's so realistic. <laughs> like, I swear to God, that happens all the time in real racing. Uh. All right, I'm going to slow down a little bit. No. Oh. The off-road part. Yeah, get out of here. Every racing game where there's AI. Oh, dang it. Oh, I tried to cut that corner on that cone. Didn't even look at the wall. Dang. It's only three laps. We can still do that. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Cut these guys out of here. All right. So this puts me in what position am I? I'm eighth place. I'm smoking a little bit. You know what? This might be a good test to see if... Uh, Oof. To see what happens when your vehicle takes an extreme amount of damage. There's only one lap left, so we just gotta make, gotta make a move now. Okay, no damage from the environmentals. That might be toned down. You could change that, by the way. You do custom racing. You could change it so the environmentals take damage. We'll do damage as well. Oh, it feels like it's accelerating a little bit slower. Is it pulling to the right? No, no, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Boy, let's get out one of the super trucks. Let me see. What is it going to do now? Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Because of your ranking, you get a new level. And this is every time you level up. Oh, maybe it's not when you complete a race. It's when you level up that you get uh, bonus uh, bonus stuff. Um, unlocks. Let me see. Let's go back to free play. And let's go to... We'll change for prototype to CGT. Super truck. Super truck. Yeah. And then that's good. And we'll change the level to... Let me see. I don't know where there's any other sweet, sweet ramps or anything. See, is there a, is there a, anywhere that there, that we have a rally cross? We could probably score a, a mini. Nope, rally cross. Guys, only rally cross one. Just kind of flip through here to see if there's any. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay, so there's only one one race that has a, a, a guaranteed jump. Um, let's go ahead and do uh, interstate GP. We'll see how the super trucks do here. Two, one, boop. So the game is sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. It's been out for a little while, early access, and like I said, I picked it up a good while ago, and then I tried it. Didn't wasn't really feeling it. Um, the game was not necessarily as polished. It visually looked good, which got me in the first place. So what I did was I refunded it, and I ended up following the guys on Twitter and just following their updates and everything. Which is, you know, I feel like that's what you should do. You know, refund the game and then turn around and then follow. If you if you have an interest in the game, like follow the developers, son of a bitch. Uh, follow the developers. And, uh, and, you know, follow their updates and all that good stuff. And I follow a ton of developers for that. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Okay, so there's some sweet jumps right there. Some sparks here. The vehicle control is fantastic. Like, it's really good. Um, like I said, the vehicle feels like I'm, gri it feels like I'm, gripping, the, I'm gripping the tarmac. I'm gripping the dirt, whatever. Um, the vehicle does handle differently. So if I slide out a little bit, you could feel that tire slipping a little. Um, it's quite good, quite good. The, uh, I would say the, the force feedback is, is pretty tame, which is good. I'm, I'm down on 27 health. I'm trying to blow this thing up. Oh yeah, it's definitely going slower. Definitely. Uh, the force feedback is, is, uh, about perfect. I would like to see a little bit more, which is weird. Typically force feedback is, is just one of those things where, you know, it's, uh, usually not implemented in a way where you want necessarily more. You're always kind of tuning it back a little. Uh, but in this case, like, you know, we go into the rocky road, I really appreciate, especially if I start losing grip or something, or on even, not necessarily just the rocky path or anything, but even on tarmac, uh, when your vehicle starts lo lo losing grip, you feel it a little bit more. 20, 20 health, come on. Come on. I want to see, I want to see an explosion. Oh god, okay, okay, how about you? Sir, can you please, please boop me? Boop me, sir. Bam. 17 health. Whoa. <laughs> now you could repair this by like going in the pit. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm taking some serious damage here. Well, and the, that's not going to do anything. Nope. And also I'm going to be, um, well, this is it. Because I can't take damage from environmentals and I, uh, there's no lap. I think I'm ghosted when I when I get lapped. So we're just going to cruise right on to the end. I would love to see more courses in this um, that support the super truck uh, or any vehicle that could that could jump really 
Uh, I think that that would be like these little off-road portions and stuff feel really good. Like they feel great. It's very rally cross. I need a proper Mickey Thompson's off-road racing. Give it to me. Oh God, this poor guy. <laughs> it's so bad. Or stadium trucks, man. Stadium, put some ramps right in the middle of the tarmac, dude. Hell yeah, stadium trucks. Let's do it. It's my favorite. You know what stadium trucks is? It's basically uh, uh, super trucks like this that are designed to run on on uh, just on pavement, right? Just on a regular street course. Um, and uh, they put ramps and shit all over the place, so you get like ramps in the middle. It's like they're jumping. No catch ramps. They have huge amounts of travel on these gigantic tires. They're actually up on three tires most of the time of the racing. Um, very, very fun to watch. Tons of YouTube videos if you're interested. Yeah, stadium trucks is what you're looking for. Um, new club. No, no, not you. Let's try a different vehicle class. Rally, Euro truck. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. The donk. Let's get it out there. Racers 12 laps 3. This is perfect for just demonstrating things. Uh, no qualifiers needed. Uh, club. Sure. Let's do it. The bonk. The, the bonk, not the donk. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I'm curious how these things handle. I don't think I've raced these things yet. For the for the uninitiated, a real racing league. <laughs> uh, not necessarily popular popular in the states, but uh, definitely popular overseas. They race they race these trucks, man. They get in these uh, uh, in these rigs and they just they go ham and they race and they're fast. <laughs> they are fast. Here we go. Ooh. What do they call these things? Tro no, lollies? No, uh, 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 lorries, lorries, lorries. That's right. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, so many penalties, too. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I don't know if I can catch them. Yeah, wow, seriously took a little bit of damage, too. It's a shame I couldn't get it to zero. Ah, oh, here we go. I'll catch up. I'll catch up and I'll start smashing dudes. Oh, this turn right there. That's the that's the one. That's the gotcha for me. Okay. Oh, another thing too. Notice that the um the tires, the tire marks uh across the track, they get they they slowly start to build up as you run around the course. Um, hard to tell if they are pre-designed, like preset, uh, based off of the AI's typical driveline, uh, because I have seen a couple instances where I've driven over the same part twice, where those, um, like outside of the regular line, where those marks would last. So tough, tough, tough to say, to be honest, tough to say. Uh, if it's a pre preset or if it's something that actually builds off of your. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get it. Uh, uh oh, oh, no, did I not quite? I should get something, right? I leveled up. Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, fine. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. It's a Euro Truck Muscle Car. It's these Super Lights. Chino Cup. Now we'll go Muscle Car. I'm going to try a different course here. Whistle Valley, Sugar Hill. I would also like to see um, uh, weather. I think weather would be kind of fun. I don't know which course this is. If we already did it or not. Uh, most of the courses kind of look the same. I would like to see more track variation, right? Like, put me up in, uh, put me in the mountains or something like that in the snow. I don't necessarily snow, snow like on the course, but you know, just kind of spice it up a little bit. Uh, rain would be sick. Uh, I would love to see these cars handling rain. But it's all this all goes back to like, give us more, um, like the cars are tuned so well, it'd be nice to kind of throw them off their balance a little bit by giving you track hazards, weather hazards and such. Um, kind of keep thinking of like RC Pro-Am where there's like oil slicks and such, <laughs> which is not necessarily realistic. But what is, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, what is more real is realistic is marbles, which I, you don't see put in basically any racing game unless it's an actual sim. Uh, in a lot of racing, especially when you start to develop lines, when you go outside of those lines, oh god, uh, when you go outside of those lines, you start to hit marbles, which is basically uh, tiny little balls of rubber that have been um, ejected from the tires of the vehicles that are flying around the course. And so imagine a vehicle that is tuned to stick to the road hitting something that it takes it off the road and starts sliding in whatever general direction random direction um like that adds that's a hazard right and you can get you could I, I saw them tweet something about testing doing like hundreds of laps or something crazy so you could do like marathon runs uh endurance runs which is something i loved in like older racing games like gran turismo um oh, come on come on come on if i'm if i'm gonna be last i'm gonna take some 
Oh, damage. There we go. Me, yeah, I get out of here. Oh no. Oh, reposition. Okay, these guys got a penalty. Okay, I'm at 33. The problem is with the taking damage is you fall behind, but some uh, these guys up here have taken some pretty good damage too, so you might be able to. This thing handles pretty good, actually. I mean, not right now, but <laughs> usually, usually it handles pretty well. Um, but anyways, yeah, any kind of track hazard, because right now the track, the, the actual hazards themselves are, I mean, well, right now the courses are pretty milk toast. This is not a whole lot going on. You do the race, it's great, and there's no hazards or anything. There's no, there's cones that you can hit that will sometimes get in your way, and they'll impede your, your progress a little bit, your speed. But otherwise, not so much. Well, here we go. Gradients. So we got a new helmet design. Ooh. Ooh. What else do we get? Oh, that's it. I didn't win in anything, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Anyways, uh, that's, you know, that's it. That's the game. It's it's a solid, it's a solid racer uh, in very good condition compared to the last time I played it. Uh, and I, I, would, I would say, if anything, follow these guys on Twitter. Uh, I think it's actually Circus Superstars uh, at, at Twitter. Hold on, so let me double check that real quick. If I'm going to suggest it, I'm going to double check it. Let me see. Circuit Superstars. Circuit Sup. Circuit S U P. Um, and that's where you go and see. Uh, and go and follow them for their updates and everything and see if there's uh, uh, see if they put something in that you're looking for, right? Um, anyways, game solid. Circus Superstars. Uh, I should show you guys that. I should show you guys this. There's a Twitter account. So yeah, they do post updates pretty regularly. August 2nd. I mean, there's a bunch of updates just since August 2nd. Showing off new maps and all that good stuff. Look at that. So they're pretty busy up here. There you go. So that's it. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. You can check out Circuit Superstars right now on Steam. Early access, $16.99. Uh, there's a multiplayer function. I couldn't find anybody to play with me. Um, sad. Uh, <laughs> and there's like weekly time trials and all that stuff. More content, I'm sure, to come. They, they're they very active on their news, uh, news section of uh, Steam as well. So that's it. My name's Mike B. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.